used to call me on my cell phone. From Drake to theater director Robert Lepage, on the world stage, Canadian culture looms large. Here at home, arts community representatives say they struggled under the Conservatives. Certainly we can say in the last 10 years, uh, arts and culture has been frozen. Cuts to arts travel and promotion programs curtail the ability of Canadian artists to punch above their weight. Our market in Canada is small, it's passionate, it is, it is invested. 87% of Canadians believe in the importance of the arts to express Canadian culture, um, but it's a very small market. But when Justin Trudeau stepped up to the podium in September, he suggested a new reality. My friends, we cannot take our cultural institutions for granted any longer. The Liberals say they will strengthen those institutions with $380 million in new funding, including Action. doubling the annual budget of the Canadian Council for the Arts to $360 million, increasing funding to Telefilm Canada and the National Film Board by $25 million per year, and $150 million in new annual funding for the CBC. Many of those organizations were unwilling to comment before the new government is sworn in, except for the CEO of the CBC, who acknowledges he's looking forward to a different kind of relationship. It's been a tough time for us over the last years, uh, shrinking resources, um, perhaps not the kind of connection with uh, the government that you would like a public broadcaster to have. Star singer Torkel Campbell is a musician who wasn't happy with the conservative approach to culture, an approach that ignored how the arts pay back. When governments invest in art, it makes money for the government. Whether it's an investment in music, visual art, whatever it is, it increases tourism, it increases foreign prestige. As arts advocates and artists look forward to Justin Trudeau swearing in, there is an atmosphere of optimism. Many haven't forgotten the previous Liberal governments who slashed arts budgets, so they'll be watching to see how arts fares amongst the new government's many promises. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.